Hey guys, Shadows here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today is going to be something a little bit different. You guys have seen the Gears of War 4 gear pack opening of videos on the channel. We've done many gear pack openings, but I have something a little bit different today. Today is actually the 25th of December. Yes, it's Christmas of 2017 already, which is absolutely crazy. So if you are watching this on Christmas Day, a huge Merry Christmas and Happy Christmas to every single one of you guys watching. Hopefully yourself and your family and friends are all healthy and having had an amazing year so far. And of course, have an amazing new year as we get into 2018 very, very soon indeed. But today, we're going to be doing a Gears of War 4 real life gear pack opening. Yes, I have 10 real life gear packs to open for you guys. Hopefully it focuses. As you can see, Gears of War 4 gear packs. So these were actually from America. I do believe these were exclusive to GameStop where if you pre-ordered Gears of War 4 back in October last year from GameStop over in the United States or America, you are actually able to get one of these for every single pre-order. So I've actually got 20 in total, but I'm going to be keeping 10 still sealed, brand new towards the collection. But I definitely wanted to open up a few for you guys. So that's what today's video is going to be, a real life pack opening of some Gears of War 4 goodies. So uh, I do believe there's about 10 or so different unique cards to actually collect and it's literally like the gear packs in the game right we can get characters we can get weapon skins we can even get horde bounties but i do believe there's only 10 different items so we've got 10 packs i do believe there's like two or three cards in per pack i'm not really too sure they have like different codes on every single card to obviously download and use in the game itself so without further ado let's get into this gears of war 4 real life gear pack opening so I actually haven't opened up any cards, like real cards, in a good few years. I think the last time that I opened up cards was maybe like, we're talking, I don't know man, like 10, 11 years ago with like Pokemon cards and the football cards I used to get at school. So this is definitely going to be a little bit of a different run. I actually haven't opened up cards in such a long time, man. This is, uh, these are quite old as well, you know, these are over a, a year old. Okay, we're getting into it. We're getting into it. Let me make sure that I show you guys exactly what's included. So you get a little bit of an information at the beginning. As you can see right here, this is actually a sticker. It reads, Gears of War 4 gear packs are the main form of unlockable content in Gears 4, which we obviously know. Earn or buy packs to receive skins, bounties, and emblems you can equip in the game. Retain the cards in this pack for the in-game counterparts. Awesome, awesome stuff. And you get like a, a Gears of War Omen sticker. I do believe you get one of these in every single pack. But well, we've actually got the cards right here, and oh my days, we are starting off strong. Okay, okay, we've got a legendary. So I don't know how to show it to you guys. What's the best way to do this? Okay, we'll just do it. We'll do it straight away. So we have a vintage Rainer. Just to start off straight away, if it wants to focus. There you go. Right, we've got a vintage Rainer. We have an outsider emblem. Okay, this is probably the best way to do it, right? And we have the teacup. Boltok weapon skin, which is an epic, and of course, a avatar. I do believe you get an avatar shirt in every single one, but we've actually got two of the most rarest cards out of the 10 possible in the first pack being Vintage Raynar and the T Cut Boltok. So that's great to start off with. Literally on the first pack as well. We're getting legendaries and epic cards in real life, baby. Let's go. Okay, first pack down. I don't really know, you know, what's the best way to open these up. Like I said, it's been a good while since I opened up some real cards. I didn't think I'd be doing it ever again, you know. Maybe when I have kids or something, I don't know. Which is obviously going to be one of those things that happens way into the future. I'm only 23, man. No kids for me at the moment. I'm still, I still feel like a kid anyway. Yo, these, these are literally like, they're so old, they're so hard to get into. Okay, there you go. But yeah, you get a sticker with every single one. If I could give you guys the stickers, I would do... As you can see, but okay, here we go. Wait, what? We've got another vintage Rainer character, legendary. We have the Phoenix Omen Lancer weapon skin and a common wave challenge horde bounty right there. And of course, the avatar shirt again. So that's pretty cool. We've actually got two legendaries already. There's an, are we actually going to get a vintage Rainer in every single pack? Because... 
If that's the case, like, I've literally got 10 legendaries of extra scrap towards, you know, probably most specifically bounties in the game itself. Okay, here we go. We've got another sticker, of course. Get it out of the way. Wait, there's no way. Have we literally got a vintage Rainer in every single pack? We've got an outsider emblem. And we have a rare team deathmatch victory bounty right there. And some avatar t-shirts as well. Okay, we're getting through these. Right, let's see if we can do this a little bit quicker. Literally, like, this takes so much more longer than opening up the packs in the actual game itself, right? I think at this point, I'm literally just going to rip them open. Okay, I do believe we are getting a vintage Rainer in every single pack. Look at that. Legendaries for days. If it wants to focus, come on, camera. There you go. Okay, we've got Vintage Rainer, we have another Phoenix Omen Lancer, and we have an Arms Race Victory Bounty right there. So, and of course we have the Avatar shirts as well. So, we've actually got most of these already. I believe we've got about four or five different unique cards. I do feel like we are getting Rainer in every single pack, man. Yeah, we're, we're, every single pack contains a legendary vintage Rainer. Because I do believe these are the GameStop versions. I think there was other ones as well. And again, we got the Phoenix Omen Lancer. And probably a bounty, right? Okay, the Outsider Emblem. Okay, cool. Some more Avatar shirts as well. And some more stickers. I think there's like a Jungle Longshot Weapon Skin we want to try and get. Because obviously, like, like I said, I've got 10 more packs I'm going to keep... Mint. We want to try and get every single unique card, right? We have another vintage Rainer Outsider Emblem and a Dodgeball Victory right there with the Avatar shirts and a sticker. Okay, how many more we got? We've literally got four more to get through. Come on. Give me the goodies, man. Well, every single pack has got goodies, but you know. You know, it's one of those things, man, where, you know, as a collector, you want to try and get everything. I don't want to open up any more packs than I have to. If we can get all ten unique cards, that would be great. Okay, so, again, we have Vintage Rainer, Outsider Emblem. We have a Common Wave Challenge Horde Bounty. <coughs> and a normal stuff at the end. I've actually got a cold right now, which is very annoying, you know, especially being Christmas. And also... I'm going away for my uh, late birthday gift or present for my girlfriend to Amsterdam in a week's time for New Year's Eve, right? So, I don't want to be ill anymore. Boom. Vintage Rainer. Outsider Emblem. Arms Race. Victory. Okay, uh, we're literally getting duplicates now, man. Come on. We don't want to be getting no duplicates in real life. We just need the... If we can get the Jungle Sniper... I think that's literally all we need. I'm not really too sure. I haven't, I haven't, I didn't really look up, you know, exactly all of the cards available. Again, we've got a Vintage Rainer. If it wants to show it, there you go. Okay, we've got the Swarm Emblem, we needed that. And another Teacup Boltog. I actually think these ones are quite rare. And we've got two of them, but we've got one le more pack to go. And we are missing the Jungle Sniper. If we can get it in this pack. We should have every single card that is a part of, you know, this promotion item. Real life gear pack. Okay. Ah, oh, dude. Swarm. Come on. Sniper. No. We got the teacup Boltock. Damn it. Okay. I feel like we are missing just one card, but I don't want to open up any more real life gear packs. You know, I'm going to keep these ones towards the collection. Just because, you know, it's one of those things that you can only get for a limited amount of time. You probably won't be able to get these ever again. As you can see, I've got another 10. So, there you have it, guys. My Gears of War 4 Real Life Gear Pack opening for you. Just to remind you, because I didn't mention it at first, but I definitely want to give it a mention. Some of those codes might be used by myself, and some of those codes might be up for grabs. So, you never know, you might want to try every single code that you might have seen in this video if the camera focused on the card itself. If you want to use them, you guys are more than welcome. But definitely let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of, like, you know, the real life gear pack cards. Do you think that maybe, you know, the Cursion Studio should have released, like, a, a whole entire set? Maybe to collect, I don't know. But give the video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Again, have an amazing Christmas and New Year as we get into 2018 very, very soon. Thanks for watching. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.